break my pressure? No, it didn't. Okay. All right. So what we have here, we can start off with a really simple uh, flat color. And we can fade it up into that, that red. Start simple. And one thing with painting, you're going to want to do stuff that's in the background first. So I always do, I always start with the background just to kind of give a sense of, um, of a, of a complete painting. Cause then you can go on top and edit rather than try to finish stuff. So there we have a really simple background. It's not as dark as, as yours, but that's, that's totally fine. Um, ich, ich bin ein Californian. That's not good German, but whatever, it works. <laughs> All right, so you ha you start with that background. You can uh, fade it up with uh, like a gradient where it's darker on the bottom and lighter on the top, like your your picture is here. And then for your for your um, portrait, what you're going to want to do is find out where the light source is. And I was talking earlier about doing a study. You're going to do a study on on the painting, on another painting as a sketch you want to see where that light source is coming from. So the light source is going to be coming from the left and, and like a three-quarter view from the top. So the light's going to hit like that. And it's going to start diffusing the light as it goes across the sphere. And then we're going to have some purple shadows in here. So just a few quick strokes. I've already figured out where the light's going to be. And what I can do now is I can use that as my reference of where I'm going to be, um, where I'm going to be drawing all the lights. Danke, Hagrid Mona and Wasabi. You're living in Switzerland. Oh man, I wish I was in Switzerland right now. <laughs> all right, so we got a, a color study up here. I notice um, with digital art, I don't know if you're going to be doing this digitally, uh, Ron Freeman, or with paint. But one thing I notice with digital artists, they'll do this, where they'll take like the, the four colors they're going to use, or you know however many colors they're going to use, and they're just going to put them up there and then keep going back to them, grabbing the colors as they paint. So like if I'd want to do the blue, if I want to do this, I'd come up here, grab that color. That doesn't tell you anything about where the light source is coming from. That's why I like to do these kind of color studies, where you know, OK, well, that blue shadow is going to be down here. Or that 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 one's going to be in the middle, and this is going to be that that mid tone. Uh oh, Wasabi is trying to summon that creeper. Can it happen? We have to fill that chat with creepers. <laughs> Un petit peu. Je parle français très bien, non? Non? All right, so we have that color study. What we're going to do with that color study now? is we're going to, you know what, I'm just going to show you how to paint, how, how to do this whole portrait, because July is Create a Kappa Month. We're going to be doing our Kappas here. So I'm going to cheat. I usually don't trace, but I'm going to cheat here. I'm going to cheat here. Boom, because we're, we're doing it fast. Boom, we've got your, your sketch in here. I like to do things and then edit. So what I like to do is draw the general shape of where things are going to go and then just start editing where it's going to be. So I'm, I'm working on the shadow. I was working on the outline first, then you can work on the shadows. I'll just make that all black. So start general. Work from general to specific. So we started with the very general outline, the very general shadow shapes in here. And then what you can do is take the highlights and the mid-tones to bring out the, the general shape of things. We're still not worried about details or anything like that. You can kind of think of it as like a low-resolution drawing. And then you can come in with the, the highlights. So in just a few moments, I've taken it from a general outline to filling in all of the, the general areas. And then what you can do on top of this is go in and do all the detail work. So if I wanted to come in here and maybe I wanted to, to figure out where that eye is going to be, where that nose is going to be. And this way you're not committing right away to doing the details. It's going to help you uh, move things around. Like maybe I didn't like where that chin is going to be. That's fine. I'm just going to 
paint right over it. You don't want to commit too early on to where things are going to be in the drawing or painting. And this is, I, I paint differently than a lot of people. I jump right in. A lot of people like to spend a lot of time planning things out. It's, it's up to you what you want to do with it. I love you too. Ich, ich liebe dich. Danke. So if you have any questions, Ron Freeman, let me know. Oh, you're going to hand paint this. Okay, cool. Cool. Well, I had fun. I had fun doing your, your goofy portrait. I'm excited to see what it's going to look like when you're done. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep painting on this if I don't stop. I got to stop. <laughs> all, right, all right, we're moving on to the next one. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask. I'm going to go back on the Twitters, find a new... <gasps> Do we have Starlight in here? Is Starlight in here? I don't think she is. 